who are fed up of being let down by the Labour Council, who have been fed up of being taken for granted, who have been fed up of being taken for granted, who have been fed up of being, who have been, fed up of being neglected by this rotten council, who are fed up of being 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 fed up we will not be silent. We will raise the voice of Gaza. We will raise the voice of Palestine. Allah Akbar! Association of Britain, a sister organization of Muslim Council of Britain, an organization that ties into pretty much every mosque in the UK. Uh, or every Muslim in the UK has some sort of connection with the, these organisations. Going after CAGE, an organisation that's done a lot of advocacy work for people who have been falsely charged with terrorism and who have been falsely charged of extremism. It's been one of the organisations that's actually fought back against government overreach. MEND, another really important group to even get Islamophobia defined and Islamophobia recognised and recorded as a separate hate crime. That was one of their achievements and they're targeting these people as a hate group. Five Pillars, I think this might be the only Muslim-led um, British news organization. I, there might be others, but I'm not aware of anyone, but this is by far the biggest, it's the most well-known. Pretty much everyone I know reads this organization. Friends of Al-Aqsa, this one is the one that surprised me the most. So it's an organization that's been at the forefront of elevating the voices of the Palestinian people in the UK. It's an organisation that's done an amazing amount of work within the European Parliament, within the UN. That's how far it's gone. Now our British government wants to label this an extremist organisation. It's absolutely disgusting what they've done. It, it really beggars belief. The thing that everyone must understand. Allah Akbar! 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 